Hillberry from stephaniehillberry.com and today we are going to go through the process of opening a business account with Pinterest. So this is actually my first time. I've been using Pinterest um, personally for many years but this is the first time that I am creating a business account with Pinterest. So a couple notes. I'm choosing to do a business account because I want to be able to pin things that are specifically related to my industry, which is marketing and sales, uh, content marketing and self-publishing. On my personal profile, I pin all kinds of things related to fashion and home, my interests, recipes, and though I certainly want to have some personal content for Pinterest um, for business, I don't want that much. So I'm choosing to have both a personal profile and a business profile on Pinterest. So this is the starting place, Pinterest.com, and I'm actually logged out of my personal account. So this is the screen that you see if you are new to Pinterest or if you're logged out. And you'll notice that down here on the bottom right are a couple options. So we want to click on businesses. And I know that's a little hard to find, so down here click businesses and we get this page, join as a business. Now Pinterest has provided several links here for information on joining as a business and just as a quick aside uh, there are a couple benefits to having a business account over a, a personal account. One of them is that you can do uh, rich pins which is a new feature of Pinterest. Those enable you to make more profit from your product related pins if you're selling products. Uh, there's also some great analytical features for business accounts with Pinterest that you can't get on the personal side. So for me as a business owner, it's a great choice. It's a free option. So I'm going to click join as a business. So you'll notice here at the top already have an account convert. Now this is asking me as a personal user of Pinterest if I want to convert my personal account into my business account. Now this is a decision that each person will have to personally make on their own. Um, I've chosen to keep two accounts, one personal and one business. But certainly if you plan on using pr Pinterest predominantly for business, then and you already have a personal account, then go ahead and convert. But for me, I really enjoy using Pinterest just on a personal level, so I want to keep that personal profile and create an entirely separate business account. So our first option here is to choose a business type, and Pinterest provides these drop-downs. We've got professional, public figure, media, brand, retailer, online marketplace, local business, institution, nonprofit, and other. So I am um, probably of all of these options, the one that fits me best is professional. I'm a speaker, I'm a marketer, website designer, digital publisher, so I'm going to choose professional. I'm going to put in my contact name. Now this is your actual name. Uh, this is not your username or your brand name. This is your first and last name. Email address, this is pre-filled already. Um, if it's not pre-filled, go ahead and e enter the email that you want to use and then create your password. Again, that's pre-filled here, um, but you'll want to create yours from scratch if it's not. So this is your public profile information. I'm going to enter my business name, which just happens to be my name. Um, my name is the name of my brand, but of course, if, you're, um, if you have a different name for your business, go ahead and enter that there and then username. So this is your URL. Um, you'll want to take some time to think about this. There are limitations on the number of characters you can have and let's just count those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 total. So for instance, Stephanie Hillberry is longer than 15 characters. So I'm not going to have the advantage of using my full brand name. And if that's the case for you, if your business name is longer than 15 characters, then you want to spend some time thinking about what username you want to use. So I've thought about this a little bit. My personal profile is Stephanie H. So I can't use that because I know that already exists. So I'm actually going to use Steph Hillberry. This wouldn't be my top choice. My top choice would be Stephanie Hillberry, um, but considering that that's already taken um, or considering that that's too long, I'm going to use Steph Hillberry. So profile image, this is where you can upload an image. Since my brand is just me, I am going to go in here. It's going to pull up my prompts and I've got a folder in here, not mugshots, um, a folder in here. Let me browse through here. having a hard time. 
let's see. Let me back up. New headshots. There we go. Sorry for that little delay there. So I've got a whole bunch of new headshots in here and I'm going to choose this one. Open it. It's uploading here. So we'll give it a minute. Now the dimensions on this logo are square. So if you have a rectangular logo, um, it might distort your image a little bit. So it's best to try and upload a square photo. Uh, this is taking a while because I believe that image might actually be pretty large. So it's probably crunching it down. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and enter the description. So you'll notice here, Pinterest limits you to 200 characters for your description. My biggest tip for you is to make sure you put some of your keywords into your description. So for me, I've already pre-written one. We're just going to copy it here and I'm going to paste it. So some of the keywords I use for my business are marketing speaker, um, specializing in websites, self-publishing ebooks. that's another phrase I use. Um, and then I've also included a call to action. I want to encourage people to visit my website for more info on training and services and to get a free ebook. So include keywords and then also offer some kind of call to action, a chance to get them to go to your website. Speaking of your website, we're going to enter in the URL here. And you'll notice that they have an example, yourwebsite.com, so they're not asking for the HTTP, www. Um, they are just asking for your URL. And then we've got terms of service. You click I agree, and I'm actually, this photo is still uploading. We're going to just keep going forward. I can always come back and add a photo. So let's create the account. Oh, and here's a message. It's telling me this email is already in use. So... Because I have a personal account, and you might run into this if you have a personal account, because I have one, I have to change my email address. That email is already taken for my personal, so I'm just going to change it to info. And let's see here if I can find a smaller version. And it looks like it's still taking a while to upload. So we're just going to create the account. So one of the tips for the Pinterest um, photo is to do 200 by 200 pixels. And I think that's why it's taking a long time. I'm sure my picture's bigger than that. So when I get a chance, I'm going to go ahead and, and reduce the size of that headshot and upload it. So just a, a point for your notes, 200 by 200 pixels, they'll shrink it down, I believe, to 160 by 160 pixels. Obviously, if you're trying to upload a bigger picture, it's going to take a while. So I'm not very patient. We're going to move on.